<laughs> when you first have to split up, it's very hard, very, very hard. It probably took two, three years to get adjusted to it, but now it's been much, much better since it just has made it easier for both of us. When David first came here, he lived with another man. This man always had his TV and everything on very loud. One of the nurses said, I think David needs to be in a room by himself. And now they let him do anything in that room. He's always taping up pictures on the wall. He's always... She's uh, putting them on. <laughs> no, I mean on the doors. <laughs> on the doors on his closets. Our daughter has painted pictures and our son gives things, you know, to make his room look nice. And they don't complain and they keep his room clean very nice. This is a great place to go, and people just let you go as long as you stay with the rules. He has a towel and an afghan on the back of his chair, and I couldn't find it. And for a week, I couldn't find it. So I went back down to laundry, and we looked and looked and couldn't find it. One of the nurses said, have you looked in his room? And I said, yes. I looked every place but one place. It was there. <laughs> And yes, they're very good and they were very helpful about helping when it was my fault because I, I just overlooked it. <laughs> I was in the service and, and scream at you, you know. I never had anyone say a nasty word to me here. They take him on bus rides around yeah. and they took him to the Jefferson School and the Jefferson's children came here and they got pictures and he talked about that a lot. And every summer they take him to the fair and then I go along too and help them. And actually they treated everybody very, very good. And it makes it easier for me and others that have people here. I hope we've encouraged other people to come here because it is a great place. Mm -hmm.